Hi everyone, Abigail Hall here. I hope you're doing well. Today I am here to talk to you about our top 10 stamp museums that we recommend for you to visit around the world. Visiting postal museums is a great way to learn about the hobby and to obtain a deeper understanding of the postal history for each country. So at number 10, we have the Post Museum in Mexico City, also known as the Correo Mayor. It is home to Mexico's first ever stamp and other great stamps of Mexico. Its architectural style is known as being castle-like, giving the museum a historical and romantic feel. It is a museum which is used to unite people through culture and art throughout the years of Mexico. It does this by having permanent and temporary exhibits which portray Mexico's history. Our next pick at number nine is the Philatelic Museum of Nicosia, Cyprus. This museum will take you through chronological order of Cyprus's stamps and philatelic materials. Starting in the 15th century, it displays stamps from the British rule in 1878 to 1914, showing you the history of Cyprus using stamp specimens, prepaid response postcards, insured mail envelopes, and air letters. The Cyprus Museum has an interesting display of airmail, giving background stories on the letters which flew across the sea. There is also a room where you can view scales, sealing wax, and philatelic literature. Next, at number eight, we have the Muse de la Poste in Paris, France. It is the French postal museum which specializes in the postal history and philately of France. There are permanent exhibitions which present objects connected with correspondence, transport of mail, work of postmen, and philatelic items. In 1999, a room was created to exhibit the 3,500 postage stamps of France in chronological and topical order. There are also temporary exhibitions on the same topics which take place regularly. An interesting pick for number seven is the China National Post and Postage Stamp Museum in Beijing. It is host to more than 100 million pieces which are on display. It presents the history of the Chinese postal system from the Qing Dynasty from 1644 to 1912 and is home to foreign stamps from over 200 different countries and regions. Bizarrely, I couldn't find any photos online of the inside of the museum, making it even more intriguing to visit. In sixth place, we have a great museum to visit for collectors of the stamps and coins variety, the Museum of Stamps and Coins in Monaco. Its collection starts out in 1885 and takes you on a journey through the years in Monaco with both Sardinian and French stamps. The exhibits displaying stamps during the rule of Charles III and Louis II, giving you the opportunity to be educated on the history of Monaco, with machine engraving equipment used to print stamps over the last 60 years, showing you how stamps were printed. Interestingly, the museum is home to the most valuable stamps in Monaco and hosts some of the rarest philatelic documents. Now into the top five places, we have the Mauritius Postal Museum, which takes you on a trip to the past, displaying major events that mark the history of the postal service in Mauritius from its origin to present day, showing stamps from the French colonial period in 1772 and the British rule in 1810. The postal department is among the oldest institutions in Mauritius, giving the building itself an architecturally interesting background. It is home to the famous Post Office 2D Blue and the Red Penny Stamps, which resolved in the museum having to pay $2 million to buy the very best stamps for their display. The next museum at number four looks like one no collector should miss out on, the Postal Museum in Japan. It displays collections related to postal service and communications. Its standing exhibition zone employs displays and images divided into what are called Seven Worlds, related to the story and history of postal service. The museum houses a zone for featured exhibitions, such as the Letter Lounge, an event space, the museum shop, and a working post office. 
The exhibits include a display of around 330,000 postage stamps, the largest collection in Japan, and about 400 items are related to Japanese and overseas postal service administrations. They have many exhibitions, starting with the World of Beginnings, which tells the postal history of Japan, and ending with the theatre, where there is a dynamic presentation of a global overview of postal services and communications, which are projected onto three screens. Taking the bronze medal for the top 10 stamp museums is the Singapore Philatelic Museum. It is a great visit if you have a family, as it is suitable and entertaining for children, giving the younger generation an early start into their stamp collecting craze. The museum is open to many school tours, as it provides a variety of fun programs for children to enjoy. It holds virtual tours so that you can see exhibitions online and be provided with all the information you could ever ask for. Travelling through the museum, you can see the postal history of Singapore, themed exhibitions with a number of great and new collections, including private collections of renowned philatelists. The museum hosts galleries which are ever-changing throughout the year. The travelling exhibitions is one of these and would be one not to miss as it shows stamps from overseas, giving you a chance to see a variety of stamps and their origin. It is also known for its amazing stamp shop, which is known to be popular with many stamp collectors. Just missing out in the top spot, despite being the first country in the world to issue stamps, is the Mail Rail and Postal Museum in London, England. This museum is set on private underground railway where you can travel through tunnels which were used by the Postal Service for 76 years. This museum puts you in a train and takes you in a circle to see the postal history of the UK. You'll hear and see the people who worked on the mail rail and be able to experience their lives below ground and get a glimpse at the hidden parts of the railway that once kept the mail coursing through London for 22 hours a day. The museum has interactive exhibits that bring to life more than 100 years of postal engineering. The journey lasts around 15 minutes, making it a quick and enjoyable museum to visit. And in first place is no surprise, the Americans are famous for doing everything bigger than everyone else and are very passionate about their history. The Smithsonian National Postal Museum in Washington, D.C., is an awe-inspiring museum which every collector should visit. This is the top pick for obvious reasons, as it is the largest gallery in the world devoted to philately, with a 12,000 square foot gallery giving you interactive touchscreens to find out more information on your favourite collections. It holds stamps which have never been on public display before, giving you as the collector an opportunity to see stamps which have never been displayed anywhere else before, such as the British Gianna One Cent Magenta stamp, which there is only one in the entire world. It holds some of the rarest and high-valued stamps, medals, dies, and hand stamps, providing an extensive variety of treasures. There are also many exhibits featured in, the, in this museum, such as the Gems of American Philately exhibit, which the Stamps of America presenting chapters of the US stamp history, and the Mail Marks History exhibit, showing you the history of American mail. They reinforce the idea of stamps representing the country's history with the help of the giant reproductions of 54 US stamps through a historical perspective. One of the most impressive areas is the William H. Gross Stamp Gallery, which features six thematic areas with thousands of pieces on display. It is also home to a national stamp salon with 275 pull-out frames featuring numerous stamp collections with tens of thousands of stamps. You could be stuck in that room for quite some time admiring the large collection of impressive stamps. Another great room to visit would be the stamps around the globe, featuring 700 countries in total, including countries that no longer exist. 
And lastly, my personal favourite sector would be the stamp design and production area, where you can learn about how the stamp is created and be given the opportunity to design your own stamp in whichever way you desire. You can also curate your own virtual stamp collection so that you can create and see your dream collection online. I hope you found this little preview interesting in the must-visit postal museums around the world. Obviously, these are just our opinions, and there are plenty of other worthy postal museums around the world that you could visit. Let me know what your favourite stamp museum is in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.